Good morning, Monty. What do you think? Are we pregnant? Do you need a treat? Can you lay down? That's a good girl. There you go. Your stomach is looking a little bigger, but we can't really tell other than you being very cute and cuddly. Can you leave it? All right, all done. Go ahead, have it. Good girl. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I still don't have an intro, so she is the intro. Yes, she is, huh? Thank you. Good girl. So as you guys heard in my last video, Monty might be pregnant and she's showing some signs right now. She's very, <laughs> so cute. You're the cutest girl. You're the best girl. So she is showing some signs. She's a bit reclusive. She likes to be under the bed. She's very cuddly with me. She doesn't really care for going on walks. And for the past couple days, she actually hasn't eaten much. And you guys know Monty is very food driven and I can't keep food away from her. She's actually on a pretty strict food regimen because otherwise she'll eat the entire pantry. But normally she eats her dinner in about like 30 seconds. So I have to use a slow feeder, but normally that doesn't work. Anyways, great appetite and she just has not been eating. So I have just been giving her chicken and rice. She's not a picky eater. So I'm assuming that this is one of the signs. That was one of the telltale signs when Lark was pregnant a few years ago. She kind of withdrew for a couple days, but then she got her appetite back. So we are going to the vet today to find out if she's actually pregnant. And I'm nervous. Are you nervous? She's like, yeah, I'm nervous. But other than like being a little withdrawn, she's still her loving self. Here in Montana, I had a few options for vets and one came highly recommended. So we are heading there. You've already been there before when we got her on her probiotics a while ago. And we're gonna find out exactly if she's pregnant or not. And I think we're gonna find out how many babies. I'm unsure. So I'm gonna film as much as I can while I'm at the vet. I do have to drop her off and then I'm gonna meet with the vet after. So I will see you guys in a little bit. Monty, what do you think? Are you pregnant? Licks, she says. How many licks? That's how many babies you're gonna have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12. all right, that's too many. That's too many. All right, do you wanna jump up in the car? She never wants to jump up unless I have a treat and I do have one right here. All right, up, go up, 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 up. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Come on, up, there you go. Also, if you are pregnant, I'm gonna need you to get a ramp for here because I don't want you jumping up. Good girl. All right, let's go to the vet. Let's go to the vet. So I just dropped her off. I do love this vet here, but I'm in a small town in Montana and I adore them, but it took me a week to get this appointment because they don't have like an ultrasound tech for every veterinary hospital in Montana. So they kind of travel around. So I had to wait a week for her to get to where I'm at in Whitefish, but I have full faith they're gonna do an X-ray and everything just to make sure and to see. And I guess I'll find out how many she'll have either this time or the next time, because it might be a little too soon, but we'll see. I'm already making a list in my head of people that I know will potentially want a dog because I want them to go to great homes. People can like afford them and afford the time most importantly. And obviously like puppies are expensive, but they mostly need time with their owner and they need a yard and it needs to be fenced in and they need to live in a good area that like, you know, allows dogs. So if it gets to that, I have a running list already and then I'll start reaching out to people and then we'll see. As of right now, the majority of them will be going to friends. So I guess we'll have to wait and see. Sorry, how many puppies did you say again? She, she thinks Okay, but it's still but too early they're, to they're, see. They're, they're, yeah, we're not quite sure, because some place, I don't know if you have any other questions at the moment. Um, yeah, I just had a question on prenatal vitamins, and also, is she okay to be in a car? That type of thing. Yeah, she's okay with all those things. I would definitely put her on, um, also get her on some a puppy-based food. Okay. So, um, just because it gives her more nutrition for the puppies that they're developing. So okay. So, puppy food with grains in it. Okay. And then, are you going to be here or in L.A. when she delivers? Um... I haven't decided yet, just cause I know with the winter and everything, it's gonna be really difficult. So if I were to head to LA, I would be heading back in a week. If you are here, the emergency clinic here is open after hours and on the weekends, but there are times when they 
the lows for a couple of days during the week. Then if you're down in LA, at least you know you're gonna have some 24 hour facility. So I actually didn't get it on camera, but it's still quite early on. She's cleared for travel. She's about 30 days along. She hasn't really changed that much. Like I thought it was a little winter weight. So I'm gonna go and get a puppy food to put her on that. I'm gonna order some prenatal vitamins. I'm gonna reach out to my friends and just kind of be overly prepared because if you guys tuned in for when Lark gave puppies, you know how prepared we were and I just wanna be even more prepared. You know, figure out where the best place for her to give birth is, if it's in Montana, if it's in LA. So this is gonna be my life for the next three months. I hope you guys are ready for the ride because it's gonna be a long journey, but a cute one and I'm looking forward to it but I will keep you guys updated. I'll see you guys a little bit. How are you? She's pregnant, all right. Oh, yeah. She is pregnant. Guess how many? Guess how many they think? They still think Shut the up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but she said it is still early because their skeletons haven't formed yet. They're like fully formed. And you know how with Lark, like some of them like, overlapped on the x-ray. She said I could get an x-ray in about a week and a half and then we would know for sure. She is cleared for travel for the next two weeks, but they say she's probably 20 to 30 days out. Yeah, 26 days. Yeah. So when are you coming back? I don't know. I'm kind of figuring that out right now. What I don't miss about having a pregnant dog, the vet bills $750 later. I wish they really told me before because what if I was like, babe, I don't have that. Money doesn't hit the account until the first. I don't care. I don't care, that's robbery to me. To me, that's robbery. Cause in LA, I know it wouldn't be more than three, 300 at my vet, but here they got me gal. They said, you're from out of town. You're an LA girl. You're gonna pay up, whatever. Anything for my girl. Anything for my little girl. Well guys, that is it for today's video. I am so excited. I can't believe it. Monty is pregnant. I'm gonna be a grandfather. My daughter's gonna have children. I hope you guys are excited to be along for the journey. I'm obviously gonna document this whole thing. There's a lot of decisions that I need to make. If I'm gonna be here in Montana or if I'm gonna head back to LA just cause the Montana winters are so rough. And I do want the puppies to be outside. The winters here last literally months and months and months long until like March. I think LA would be a more suitable option. And of course I have the space, I have the time in LA, I have the yard, which is very important. But yeah, there's a lot going on. It's gonna be a busy couple of months. I have a lot of like other travel and work stuff in between, but here we are. Monty's in the best hands as always. And it's gonna be a positive, beautiful experience bring a lot of joy to you guys and to me as well through the holidays and I'm excited to share it with you. So make sure you like this video, you are subscribed, drop a comment down below and make sure you're following me on all other social medias, Twitter, TikTok and Instagram, just at Mr. Prada everywhere. And I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure to leave things better than how you found them. I love you so much. Bye.